Today we're looking at the Bleak Hummingbird Wireless Earbuds. Hey guys, so today, like I said, we're looking at the Bleak Hummingbird wireless earbuds. These retail for around $70 to $80. They fit quite tight around the ear. They have a rubber ear hook that fits over the ear. Sits quite firm around the back of your neck. They're quite comfortable. Most earbuds that you find that have a connection on an angle like this normally fit a lot better. Your ears don't obviously go straight in. So these are more of an ergonomic design. These are also sweat and weatherproof. So if you are using them for exercise, you don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain, getting sweat all over them. They actually have a nano coating over them. So you're not gonna wreck them. I wouldn't go swimming in these, but it's gonna be great for exercise, indoor or outdoor. These also came with a lot of ear tips. They actually had a really nice unboxing, lots of little extras, a nice case. I always like earbuds that come with a lot of extra ear tips. These advertise a 14 and a half hour battery life. I was testing these out on an iPad at full volume. The iPad seems to be a little bit louder than an iPhone. On dance or EDM, something that really powers them, really uses up the battery. And I was able to get almost 11 hours. So if you were listening to these at a realistic volume, listening to podcasts, making a few phone calls, you would probably get around that 14 hours, but you will definitely get around 11 hours with these no matter how you use them. So that is still a really good battery life. These also offer a quick charge. So if you do charge them up for 10 minutes, you get an hour of battery life. So if you do forget to charge these up, the battery's dead, you can charge them up on the way to gym, 10 minutes, got an hour of battery life. The Bluetooth connection is really good, really strong connection. If you are using them without your phone on you, you will only get around 15 meters Bluetooth distance, but really nice connection, didn't have any issues with it. One cool feature with these, which also makes them really good for running, exercise, is that they have an ambient mode. If you do click the button in the center twice, it will switch to ambient mode. It uses the microphone on the outside of the earbuds to collect all the ambient noises, sounds, anyone talking to you, traffic, anything that you wanna hear, it will send them into the earbud. I've heard this on a number of different earbuds or headphones, and it always is a little bit weird at first because it does make everything louder than what it actually is but it's a really cool feature. If you are running and you see someone you know, you can click it twice, you can talk to them. If you're coming up to an intersection when you're running or exercising out on the street, you can use that. you will be able to see the traffic, hear the traffic, cross the road, press it twice and your music starts back up again. I think it's a really cool feature, definitely for an exercise earbud. So the sound of these is actually really nice. It's super loud, really crisp, really clear audio. The bass is nice. It's not huge and boomy. It could possibly be a little bit bigger, but the vocals, the mids, the highs are super loud and crisp. The vocals are quite upfront and dominant. The sound stage or the surround effect is really nice on these earbuds. The highs are loud and crisp without being overpowering. My ears are quite sensitive to highs, so a lot of the cheaper earbuds 
the high sort of that sort of piercing you get a little bit of sibilance definitely don't have that issue with these like i said these are really crisp and clear earbuds so summing this up i think they're really nice quality they sort of appear a little bit cheaper in some of the video even some of the videos that i shot but in person they seem really high quality really nice rubber they don't seem like they're going to break they sound good they're light I really like that ambient mode feature. It's a nice little extra feature and they definitely have a really good battery life. Some of the downsides, if you do like dance, EDM, really bass dominant music, uh, they might sort of come across as lacking a little bit of bass. They're not a real bass head kind of earbud, but earbuds like this are always gonna sort of lack in one area. These really sound nice with vocals, instruments. They're really loud. They're gonna be great for running, but that is one downside if you listen to like I said, dance or EDM music, you might think that these lack a little bit in bass. The other sort of downside of this is probably the cable management. You might have seen while I'm holding these that there's a little bit of a knot. If you are using these for running and you have them tied around the back of your neck, you do end up with a pretty big tail behind flapping around on the back of your neck. Um, it can be a little bit annoying. So I just have been tying a little knot in them if I was using them for exercise just to control that extra cable. But just being fussy, that is sort of a downside of these earbuds. If you were gonna use them for exercise, you might not like the look of that on the back of your neck. If you have any other questions about these, make sure you comment down below in the comment section. I always try to get back as quick as possible and answer them to the best of my ability. If you were looking at these hummingbirds and this video was helpful, make sure you give it a like and I'll see you in the next video.